Hello everyone, Pastor Rick here again. Uh, I trust you've all been enjoying some of the content that we've been able to post up online recently. Um, I know there's always room for improvement, but I think that with the, the Sunday services, we're just about getting to a good point now. We've got, a, got some music, even if it's just a YouTube playlist at this point. Uh, we have the message, we have uh, fellowship after the sermon for anyone who's happy to jump on a Zoom link. Um, we have had communion, which incidentally we won't be having this Sunday, but starting from next Sunday, I hope to get back to a regular routine of having that every fortnight. But there has been one thing that has been a bit of a glaring omission. What's that? Live music? Um, well, yeah, that's true. Uh, we are working on that and we'll get it happening as soon as we can and as soon as the, the restrictions on gathering together allow us to get a music team together in the same place. I uh, know but that wasn't what I was thinking of. Announcements. Yes, I know you've all been missing announcements. So it's time to talk about some of the things that are happening because even though we can't meet together in the usual way, that doesn't mean the church has stopped doing things. Um, the first one, and probably the most important, is that we're not reaching quite as many people as perhaps we could through these online offerings. And part of that is because we don't have everybody's up-to-date contact details in El Banto. So, if you know anyone who hasn't been getting our emails, um, that's probably the reason. If they have access to El Banto, it would be great to just encourage everyone to go in and check their contact details, make sure they're up to date, that there's no typos, anything like that. Uh, but if they're still having problems, please contact the church office or contact me. Uh, my email is rick, R-I-C-K, and then at the usual Ellenbrook uh, address. So yes, I would encourage everyone to check their contact details. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to ask is whether there's anyone who would like to volunteer as part of the Safe Church team. Uh, Ruth has been doing a fantastic job in keeping the registry up to date so that we know who's got working with children's cards and all of that kind of thing. I'm the Safe Church reporting and response officer as part of my role as lead pastor, but we're looking for a third person to come on the Safe Church team to help with things like uh, risk assessment and risk management. And um, yeah, to look at environmental venue and program related risks. So I know that may not appeal to everyone, but if there's someone out there who is safety minded and would like to care for the church in this way, it's something we'd like to get up and in place as soon as possible, perhaps even before we're able to meet together again. So if you know of anyone or if that's you, then please contact me. Uh, I'd love to have a chat. Uh, while we're talking about volunteers, there is uh, an opportunity from Baptist Care for those who are interested. As you may be aware, under the current um, coronavirus restrictions, many of the um, old aged, I'm not sure what the politically correct term is, the, the older folks' homes um, have restrictions on visiting, which means that a lot of those people are quite isolated. And so Baptist Care is looking for volunteers. Specifically, they say, we're looking for volunteers who can spare some time to help form social connections with our residents. You may like to have a chat over the phone, send handwritten letters or drawings, read books to each other, or take part in activities over a video call. Uh, if you're interested, um, I will have a website uh, in the link with this post, or you can email volunteering at baptistcare.com.au. All right, I think that's all of the notices. I would like just like to finish, though, on a high note by uh, a reading from Psalm 27, starting at verse 4. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his willing. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. 
You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, O God, my Saviour. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, breathing out violence. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. I think of the rest of it you can take and leave. I mean, obviously it's scripture, it's God's word, so it's all good, but I've lost count of the number of the times those last two verses have been an anchor for me, a source of great assurance and confidence in times of trouble. So let's hear those again. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. That is my hope and prayer that uh, this would find you well and would be an encouragement to you. May God bless you all. Goodbye for now.